Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bonnie and this is Happy Space Creates. If you're new here, thanks for joining me today. Don't worry, I'm new too, so please be kind. Go gentle with me. Um, I've even got um, my water glass here that says happy. So definitely in a happy mood today, even though it is miserable in the south coast. It's pouring with rain outside, so I hope the lighting and the sound is all okay. Um, today we're gonna do a sew and tell video. Um, of all the things that I made in January. So I've got them all spread out here for you. Um, but before we start, if you want to click the subscribe button and give this video a little like, that would be much appreciated. So should we get started? Okay, so um, it's obviously been lockdown in the UK. Um, the situation continues um, and it means that I've had a lot more time to sew because I've got nothing else to do basically. I work as a beauty therapist and obviously we're not allowed to work at the moment. So I found myself with lots of time on my hands, which has actually been really lovely. Um, so the first thing I got started with in January was I was going through my patterns and I was like, I don't really wanna spend any money. It's January, I haven't been earning. Um, so I was looking through my stash and I discovered the Sophia dress. Um, from Simply Sewing Magazine. Now I must have had this for like two years and I remember saving it because I don't know if you can see on here, um, it has like the cutest little cut out patterns on the side of the dress. Um, and I really liked that about the pattern, but at the time I just put it in my stash and was like, I'll get around to making that one day. So January was the time. Obviously we're not going anywhere, but wishful thinking. And um, so I got the Sophia dress out and I had this beautiful um, stretch cotton in my stash. Um, it's really quite thick, which I thought made a really nice wintry kind of dress um, where it was tights and like a little jacket, a leather jacket I thought would look really cute. Um, and it's got kind of like a bit of a retro print to it. I think it's really cute. Um, originally caught, bought the cotton from Fabricland. Um, and I, I don't know where I got the lining from actually. I think it was just in my stash. But this is the finished garment. I will hopefully put a little video of me wearing it when I figure out how to do it. Um, but yes, it's really cute. It has these adorable little cutout sections on the side. Um, it's got quite a square neckline and an invisible zipper at the back. Actually managed to pattern match the zipper as well. I was really impressed with that. Um, mostly accidental, if I'm honest. Um, the only thing I did do was that the lining inside, I didn't quite have enough. So it really doesn't reach the end. Um, but it's the inside and no one's gonna see that. So I absolutely love this dress. I think it's a really good going out for dinner dress. It's a bit edgy for me. Um, I don't really get that edgy, but I'm a, it's a bit edgy. Um, so yeah, so that was my first make. Um, they do actually do an extension on the Simply Sewing Magazine website um, if you don't want that cut out part. Um, they have an extension just to have the normal bodice. Um, I haven't downloaded it because the reason I love the pattern was for the cutout. Um, but you can download it if you want to. I don't think you can buy the pattern anymore. Um, I believe you can probably get hold of it on somewhere like eBay or the Facebook um, sewing groups that you can get it from. <laughs> the dog wants to say hello. Come on then, say hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm back without the dog. <clears throat> right, going back to the Sophia dress as I was rudely interrupted by the pooch. <clears throat> the Sophia dress has a really beautiful princess um, bodice cut, which is really very flattering. So I managed to get a really nice fit. Um, and one of my uh, sewing resolutions for January was to really take time on making garments that fitted me well, um, because I'm gonna wear them more, basically. When I first started sewing, I would just open the packet and make the dress exactly as it, as it told me to, just following step by step, and didn't really make mind of like what the fit was gonna be like. Um, so I really wanted to start making garments that fitted me well and that I felt confident in. Um, which brings me on to my next make. Um, my next make was this shirt as modelled by moi. Um, now this is the Rosa 
shirt pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. I made it out of this tartan check suiting fabric. This is from Minerva Crafts, Minerva Crafts? Um, and it was, I think, $6.99 for a meter. I've actually just looked online and they don't have it in stock anymore. So obviously I was very on trend and got it before everyone else. Um, but they do have one that's very, very similar for $7.99 a meter. I ordered two meters because I wasn't sure whether I was gonna make the dress, um, but I have loads left over, so I might make a cute skirt as well. Um, so yeah, so this is the Rosa shirt. Um, again, it's got princess seam lines, so it makes a really beautiful, like fitted shirt. So it comes down across the bottom and it shapes really nicely. I really wanted to challenge myself and make a shirt because I've never done one before. And I feel like a shirt has lots of elements in there that sound quite intimidating, like a collar, a button stand, cuffs, plackets, all the technical terms that you hear of people using and all of those things I'd never done before. So I felt like it was a really good pattern to challenge my skills, basically. Um, now, years ago, meh, maybe a year ago, I purchased the Tilly and the Buttons online workshop. I think it was probably in their January sale last year. Um, so it's been sitting on my computer, ready to go, and I've never got around to doing it again because I was working loads, and now I've got all this time on my hands. So I decided to log on and check out what it was all about. So with the Tillies and the Buttons online workshop, it's super straightforward. I purchased the Learn How to Make a Shirt or Shirt Dress. Now the workshop is £49 in the UK, um, and that is for a PDF pattern included in the workshop. If you want a printed pattern, I think it's £59. And that you just go onto the Tillies and the Button website and just click the workshops option. Um, and basically it's step-by-step -step videos of how to make the shirt from start to finish and it comes with great recommendations of what type of fabric to use, um, all the different things that you're going to need, fantastic techniques that I wouldn't have known. Um, and of course it's taught by Tilly herself and it's really great to just like pause it if you're stuck, go over things again and again. I don't know about you, but sometimes the written instructions, you have to read it through quite a few times. And if something just doesn't make sense to you on a written pattern, it just doesn't make sense. You could read it four times and you're still like, I have no idea how to do that. So the video concept um, is so great to physically see something, especially if you're a visual learner, a bit like me, I like to see how it's done. So Definitely loved the online workshop and I am really glad that I finally got around to doing it. Um, so this is the finished result. It's got cute little pleats on the sleeves. Um, it's got a really comfortable collar. I didn't want that really stiff feeling collar. Um, I actually used um, snaps to for the closure, um, partly because I got the cam snaps for as a Christmas present and I wanted to give the little machine ago. Um, I usually wear this undone just because I feel like it's quite casual um, to wear over jeans and a shirt. The only thing I did was um, I put the um, cam snaps on the wrong side. Most women's wear um, has the right side with the buttons on the front and I did it the wrong side round but it's it's not really an issue for me my brain does go huh when I put it on but you get used to it it's fine um, and I absolutely loved making this shirt it was a real challenge for me and I cannot wait to make more of them I'm literally obsessed um, I wear it every day apart from watching it and then I wear it every day um, so yeah I really love this shirt um, so on to my third make of January, I made this um, beautiful wrap top. Um, this is actually a self-drafted top, kind of. This was just from a, again, fabric from my stash. I had one meter and I think it's a cotton lawn. It's a very, very lightweight drapey fabric. I must have bought this again from Fabricland the same time that I bought this blue cotton. It's been a, a long time 
sadly my fabric land near to me has closed down now so that's how long ago I bought the fabric I think we all buy fabric and just leave it in our stash don't we um so yeah so this is a cute wrap top I wanted to make really long um ties because in my head I had this vision of this cropped top with a tie round waist that you can just wrap round. I'll insert pictures of me wearing it because I feel like I can do it a bit more justice. Um, this pattern just reminded me of summer holiday and I think we're all wishing for a summer holiday. So I really wanted to make something that I could see myself wearing a lot in the summer. Um, I put some cute little tiny pleats at the front here. I don't know if you can see some cute little pleats. And then on the back, I have some tiny little pleats as well. Um, and just like a mid-length sleeve. Um, but I got the pattern, like I said, it's self-drafted, but I mainly copied the pattern from the So Many Dresses, So Little Time book. Um, now this is by Tanya Whelan. I've had this book since I first started sewing about four years ago, and I have used it so much. It's a bit of a sewing Bible. Um, so I will show you the pattern that I used. So this says mock wrap bodice. So you can see that it's showing you, um, it's kind of like a, a jigsaw book of dresses. So you can choose your bodice type and then you choose the skirt that you want. Um, and then it has different sleeve options, different collar options in there as well. So I chose the mock wrap bodice. And what I did was I just cut those pattern pieces out. And then I chose a mid-length sleeve from in here as well. And rather than sewing a skirt onto the bottom, I just put a couple of tucks into the bodice piece so it fitted me nicely. And then I just made the ties out of the remaining fabric that I had and made a little waistband along the bottom there. So it was a really quick and easy sew. Um, and I can't wait to wear it on holiday. Um, so yeah, so if you are new to sewing or if you are wanting to experiment with different types of patterns, I really do recommend this book because I use it all the time and it just sits on my sewing shelf and I even just look for it for inspiration just because to see what kind of different colours and sleeves and stuff um, is out there. I think sometimes you can get a bit of stuck in a rut um, and it's just nice to shake things up if you've got a pattern but you're not quite at that hacking stage yet. Um, this is kind of good because it does teach you step by step as to how to alter um, like an off the shoulder bodice and things like that. So it is really a really good book. Um, so yeah, so that's what I made in January. Um, I've got some really exciting plans for February. I'm planning to make, like I said, I'm obsessed with this shirt. So I'm hoping to make more of these. Um, I really want to make like a loving that jacket trend. So I'm hoping to make a kind of like shirt jacket. Um, and yeah, and then just see where the rest of the month takes me really. They've got some really nice patterns um, coming out. There's loads of new patterns. And also I keep seeing people make the, is it the Rose Cafe Bustier top um, by Daria Patterns. I've seen loads of people on Instagram making that and I really, really want to make one. I have no idea where I would wear it, but I have to have one. Um, so yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be making one of those in February, if not definitely for March. And I want to take part in the Me Made Valentine challenge that's on Instagram at the moment with the Stitch Fit and um is it alicia threads i think her at is i've been seeing loads of people put the hashtag me made valentine 2021 and they've had some beautiful um makes on there so i'm definitely going to have a good scroll through that hashtag and see what everyone's making and hopefully get some inspiration um but thank you for joining me on my sew and tell um i will hopefully see you really soon definitely in february with my next makes so thank you for joining me today if you've liked the video, don't forget to click subscribe and give this video a little like and I'll see you really soon. Bye. Well, well done. You fluffed that up, didn't you?